transformation of graph. Before going through this video, please don't forget to check the relevant slides that I have posted for transformation of graph in Canvas. Okay. Now let us do a combined transformation f of x equals to 3 plus square root of x plus 2. Okay, so this is a combination of some parent function and some constants. Okay, so now what is the parent function? So the parent function is simply f of x equals root under x. Since the main expression in this function is root under x plus 2, so the parent function is root under x. So root under x is the parent function. Now second, we would go for adding 2 with x. All right. So that means I would do this thing f of x plus 2 would be root under x plus 2. So if I add a number with x, that means we need to shift the graph either to left or right. Okay, that means horizontal shifting. Since this is x plus 2, so I can write this as x plus 2 equals to 0. So my shifting would be towards left hand side by 2 units. So let's suppose this is 1, this is 2. Then this function, uh, this graph would shift in this way. So this would be root under x plus 2. Okay, so that's horizontal shift. Now let's go for the third one. We will add 3 to the entire function. So that means 3 plus f of x plus 2. So this function changes into 3 plus root under x plus 2. Okay. Then since we added some constant to a uh, entire function, so the shifting will be done vertically upwards or downwards. This is positive, so we shift 3 units upward. Let's suppose this is 1, 2 and this is 3. Then this point in the graph will reach somewhere here and this point will reach somewhere here. So our function would look just like this. So this would be 3 plus root under x plus 2. All right. So this is the way how we do our transformation using the parent function and stepwise shifting. We have an absolute fun value function. Right? Now we are quite clear that the parent function is absolute value function. So let us go for f of x equals absolute value function x. Then its graph would be simply a v-shaped curve in this way. Okay. So this is absolute value function. In the second step, we would have x minus 4. So this would be, I would just subtract 4 from x. Subtracting 4 from x means you would want to shift the curve, shift the entire graph of the curve towards your right okay, by 4 units. So let's suppose this is 4, 2, 4, then this curve would look something just like this. Okay, So this is x minus 4. Then we need to go for this negative 2. So what does this negative 2 mean? First of all, let us try to multiply by 2 for this function. Number 3 would be 2 times f of x minus 4. So that would be 2 times x minus 4. Then 2 times x minus 4 means this is the um, instance of where we stretch the function towards y-axis. Okay? That means these two things will be much more closer to the vertical axis. Right? So if you think um, this imaginary line to be the vertical axis, then these two arms will get closer. Our graph would look something just like this. Okay, so this is twice of x minus 2. Twice of x minus 4. Sorry, that's 4. Okay. Now then, let us multiply by negative 1. So multiplying by negative 1, so that gives us negative 2 f of x minus 4. So that is negative 2 x minus 4. So what does this negative does? So it will reflect about x axis. So multiplying an entire function by negative number will be reflection about x axis. So this entire thing will reflect in this way. Right? So this blue curve 2 times x minus 4, absolute value of x minus 4, will reflect in this way. Then finally, we can now 
include negative 3 in our formula. Okay, so that would be negative 2 f of x minus 4 minus 3 will be negative 2 x minus 4 minus 3. That means minus 3 means there is a vertical shift. So we would go 3 units down. So let's suppose this is 1, 2, 3. Then our curve would be something just like this one. So this is negative 2 x minus 4 minus 3. The earlier curve was negative 2 x minus 4. So this orange colored, uh, so this curve is the final graph, okay? the graph of this function.